Hello everybody. This time I would like to model a bearing block. I start with uh, a circle with 16 sides, put it in the middle and make it <coughs> 100 by 100 millimeters. Drop the tool A to center the view. Now I do the three key for poly mode, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in like so, shift click to reactivate the bevel tool and about the same amount again, hit delete. <coughs> we don't need the right half of this, we will mirror it later on. So I use the T key now for transform tool bring this edge to about here, a uh, vertex rather, this one to here, this one to here. Now I make sure they really fit optimal. So I select these verts or, or edges, doesn't really matter. Then go to set position because I have a precise radius of 100, I know the y must be minus 100 and the x must be minus 100 as well so set position here again minus 100 but this time on the x and now there is one word left which uh, I need to position right you see here it's almost on the right place so vertex set position minus 40 on the y okay drop the tool now i know this is minus 40 this is minus 100 this will help us later on so select this edge hit the set key for edge extend click in the viewport bring it out maybe minus 80 millimeters. Drop the tool, go to perspective view, select all these polygons, hit the X key for polygon extrude and extrude it out maybe minus 60 millimeters. Drop the tool, deselect everything, go to basic, center select it on the set, drop the tool now we can get rid of the grid work plane and I can get rid of these two polygons. Hit the delete key. Next I select these two edges in here. Hit the B key and bevel it in with a round level of 1 ever so slightly, like about so. Drop the tool. Now I need to harden some edges, so I select a couple of polys here, hit the L key for loop, go to select boundary, and now I control D, select these four edges, I shift select these three to add it to the selection, shift tab to go to Pixar sub D mode, vertex map, edge weight tool, 20%, click in the viewport and here we are. Now again, if you feel this is too hard, then you can go up with the subdivision level from 2 to 3 and now it's probably too soft. <coughs> there are several ways how to fix it. We could play around with the weight here or we could simply use the old Modo way by putting in some supporting edges. I do the second one because this gives usually very nice results. So drop the tool, I select uh, some edges here, some here, Alt C, with a count of 2 and I make it 5%, drop the tool, 
Then I need another one here, Alt C, 5%. And now you see we have really, really nice edges. Next thing is we need some more because we need a hole in here. So Alt C again, but this time with a count of one. Click in the viewport, drop the tool, <coughs> select these polygons and these polygons, shift A to center the selection, maybe even top view. Now I need a cylinder with eight edges because I have eight edges in here. Put it uh, right in the middle like so. Make it 16 by 16 millimeters and maybe 60 in the height. Drop the tool, hit the delete key to delete these polys. Go back out of uh, Pixar subdivision perspective. Now I take this poly and this poly, hit the B key, bevel it in on the red handle, drop the tool, right click on the selection and bridge these together. Let's see, that's the wrong way around, reverse direction, that looks good. Now I select these, hit the L key, delete, but because we now know um, that these have to be minus 40 millimeters, I can go to vertex, set position, minus 40 in the Y, boom, and do the same here. Select these, set position, this time minus 100. Here, drop the tool. And the only thing left now is I need to select these edges and edge bridge them together and reverse the direction again. Do the same here, drop the tool, click here and bridge them together. So just one little bit is left here, Alt C with the count of two symmetry, bring that out and this is how it looks now. So let's mirror it. So we go duplicate, mirror over the X, apply, make sure that all the words are merged. No word, this is merged, good. Shift click and here it's almost finished. I select now two polys from this loop, two polys from this loop, hit the L key, now hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in on the blue handle, about so, drop the tool, shift tab, and this gives a nice impression of a bearing block. So I leave this on for a bit to make sure I can select the thumbnail I want to, but the movie is over here. So thanks a lot for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye bye, see you another time.